Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another episode in the Assassin's Creed Origins Countdown series. This episode, that's right, we are just nine days away from the release of Assassin's Creed Origins. I, I can feel it now, I'm getting, I'm getting so, so excited. Now, number three, thing that I'm excited about, ladies and gentlemen, in Assassin's Creed Origins is, let's get right down to business, the modern day. I know, Tyler, I thought you didn't care about the modern day. I thought you would be alright if the modern day was chucked out. Well, well, well yeah, I get, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. But, the modern day, with this game, I feel is, is going to be something special. I really, I don't, I don't know, I've just had this feeling for a long time that they know what's up. Ashraf keeps saying, he's like, we know, guys, we've listened, we've heard you, don't worry. And I feel like this is the one, This it's going to happen. We're going to really finally get a third person modern day a new character and i think it's gonna be desmond's son i'm just saying ever since the syndicate database entry with desmond's son i was like this is it cool this is gonna be amazing and we're gonna get a real modern day again i feel like that's what's gonna happen and i'm really excited for that i think this is gonna be a really cool complex storyline having a character that's a sage as your playable character and Having him involved in the whole Juno situation and trying to have him deal with being, you know, the son of Desmond, but also uh, Aita and all this sort of stuff. It's going to be really complex for him to deal with. And I think that's going to be very interesting, especially having to, let's say, obviously, if he's the main modern day protagonist, we don't know that. But if he is and he's going back and he's, you know, reliving Bayek's memories, then he's seeing things that contradicts what obviously Juno's telling him and the instruments of the first will is telling him he's seeing the origin of the assassin order an order that his father and his grandfather and his great-grandfather before him were a part of so that to me is just an interesting complex dynamic as it is do I think it's going to be Desmond's son honestly like if I had to put money on it that's what I would put my money on uh, I at least at the very least think that there's going to be a modern day protagonist and they're going to start afresh with a new storyline, and it's going to be third person. I do believe that. I don't think we're going to get modern day cutscenes again. I don't think we're just going to get first person stuff. I do think it's going to be a third person protagonist. I really do believe that. They, they've they listened to us, I think. They've been given enough time to put it together since Syndicate, and get rid of those other stupid storylines that we're dealing with in the modern day, and really just start something afresh. Here we go. Let's do it. And again, if, if it's a third-person protagonist, it might not be Desmond's son. That's true. But if it... I mean, it's probably more than likely that's what it is. Don't know yet. He might be the antagonist. That would be crazy too. There's a lot of interesting dynamics to go through. But either way, I think this is when that excites me, right? When it's something new again. When it's like starting afresh. When it's almost a reboot. Because Origins is in some ways kind of a bit of a reboot. They've gone all the way back. They're giving us an origin story of, of the assassins. They're going to give us a new modern day start. And here we go on to the next kind of era. The next decade, hopefully, of Assassin's Creed and quality Assassin's Creed at that. So I think the modern day is going to get interesting, especially with the Juno stuff. Because how long can you really fake this, right? How long can you really keep us going on like this where nothing's happening? I don't think that's the case, right? I think there's going to be some big revelations within Assassin's Creed Origins with Juno and the modern day and how to maybe defeat her or at least what her ultimate plan is, whether she's trying to bring people into the grey with her or she's trying to come out into the world in a physical form. I think there's lots of, you know, inklings, especially to Egypt being the setting with pieces of Eden uh, and artifacts like the Ankh being something to transfer consciousness between objects. I think that's something that's going to come into play for sure during Origins. Will Bayek have something to do with this? We don't know. Will that have something to do with the Order of the Assassins? And what role does Juno or the Isu play with the Assassin Order or the Templar Order being built in that sense? That's also going to you know, come into play as an interesting storyline. But in terms of the modern day, we haven't seen too much other than like some concept art of some you know, weird technology you know, stuff and tents in the desert, and like some Abstergo agent, soldier, or whatever, I don't know. So there's not much to go off other than it's there. We know it's there. 
Luma said he's seen the modern day, but he can't say any more than that. Like we, for all we know, it's a cutscene. For all we know, it's a first person. But I don't think it is. But we know it's there. That's what we do know. And I am very excited to see it, mainly because we don't know anything. That's partly why it's so high on the list. One, I think, is this exciting to have no idea until we go into it, but knowing it's there and knowing it's at least not going to be what we haven't liked. You know, it's not going to be the Black Flag modern day. It's not going to be a stupid Syndicate or Unity modern day. It's going to be something. And it's going to be cool. And uh, I'm very, very excited to see how it turns out. So, that's the number three thing I'm excited about in Assassin's Creed Origins. Let me know what you guys think of the modern day. Any theories down in the comments below. And please, for sure, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, as well, I don't run any ads on this channel. So, if you feel like supporting me and this channel and James's channel, that's Lasers. Uh, just head over to patreon.com slash as always to get bonus podcasts, extra content plus cool perks and stuff, depending on how much you donate. But if you can't, that's okay too. Just enjoy this ad-free video content. And I'll see you guys for the next episode in the Assassin's Creed Origins Countdown Series.